Hello everybody, this is Deidre with Paper Crafts and Planners and today I'm showing you what I received in my warehouse box from Echo Park. Echo Park and Cardabella are kind of one and the same. They do a warehouse box a couple of times a year, I believe. And this, if you sign up for their email subscription, then they will send you something letting you know when the next one is. Or if you purchase anything from them and you put your email in, you'll get definitely notified when these warehouse boxes come up. They are fun to receive. They're $50 and it's about 150 or so worth of product. So, But you don't know what you're getting, by the way. It's just all a surprise. So these are mini paper fans. And this is from the Rockabye Baby Cartabella collection. And I'm picturing these on the front of memory albums, little chipboard memory albums. Those would be cute. This next one is same thing, fans. And this is from the Once Upon a Time collection. Really cute. There is an embossing folder. It's A2 size, so that means it is four and a quarter by five and a half for a card front. And this one is called Grid. So it's just got these little squares everywhere. Really cute. There are two washi. This one is almost like a grayish wood grain. Really pretty. And this one has these little cars with luggage on top, little VWs. And I can see this more in my planner, maybe marking off a trip that we're taking. That would be really cute, a vacation. These are summertime puffy stickers and it's an Echo Park collection again. I have some of this collection left over from a subscription box. They do a monthly subscription box which has got paper and stickers and it'll be one collection and they're really fun. Um, so when you go to the website, check that out too. They're a lot of fun. This is some chipboard for an Echo Park collection called Magical Adventures. And again, in one of the um, subscription boxes, I received a lot of this paper and I haven't managed to put together a little memory album with it. So I think I probably should. I think I actually made one and sold it already. So here we go, I can get some other ones made. This is a Cartabella collection called Home Again, which is one of my favorite collections. The way you can tell the difference without the name even of Cartabella and Echo Park is Echo Park is more of a smooth, they're thick cardstock, but more of a smooth, and Cartabella has a textured feel to it. These are really pretty. So I have quite a bit of that collection left too. This six by six pad is one of my absolute favorites. It's the warm and cozy. And I, I think I just have tiny scraps left of this collection from this past Christmas. I made a lot of cards with these, with the wood grain and the dark greens and reds. And then they've mixed some blue in there too. And look at this, it's a really pretty collection. And I think we're starting all over, yep. So there's 24 uh, double-sided papers in here and I think there's 12 different um, patterns. This one's called Summer Camp and I had never seen it before. This is a Cartabella collection. Though this is smooth, maybe it's just the big papers they do textured, but I know their 12 by 12s are highly textured. So I'll kind of flip through here so you can see. I do like the colors of this. I mean, I don't, my kids are all grown. We're not doing summer camp type things, but there are some wood grains and look at that. That is pretty. And a check. And I could see these for some masculine cards and look at the clouds. I mean, there's a lot you could do with this. Even if your kids are not doing summer camp or your grandchildren, I'm sure there's a lot of use you could get out of this. Again, that's repeating. And then this is called Summer Adventure and it's Echo Park by Lori Whitlock. And it's a 12 by 12 single sided, which is unusual. Usually they are double sided. There's one white. I can see this coordinating really well with that little six by six pad. The colors are very similar. I love those backpacks, that's cute. Eat, sleep, camp, repeat. Those are super cute. And we're repeating now. Those are really nice. So again, same thing, 24, these are single sided. It says it's 65 pound and it feels nice. It feels like a nice weight for layering. And here's another collection by Lori Whitlock called Back to School. And this is an Echo Park. Oh, look at these. I'm probably gonna get a lot of use out of this one. Smart as a whip, sharp as a tack, cute. Yeah, I'll do some something for the grandkids with this for sure. They actually have not gone to school in person since last March, and they are supposed to start again February 1, so we'll see if that happens or how that goes. These are super cute. Okay, 
there's that one. Then there is a pack of the dots and stripes, and I probably should have taken it out of this plastic so it's not such a glare. But this, if you've never seen this, it's foiled, and they're really pretty, and I did use up all of mine making something. So I'm happy to receive it. This is like a copper on an orange, tannish orange, and then on the back is a solid. And then this is like a mint. Yep, mint. What do they call this one? Let's see. This one is called copper. Okay, copper foil tan. That's exactly what I said, huh? <laughs> mint. This one is blue, they say. It's almost like a turquoise, though, like a dark turquoise. Light pink. Just regular pink. Mint again. Love that. I will definitely get a lot of use out of that. This collection is called Transatlant Transatlantic Travel. And I have a different travel collection, but I don't think it's Echo Park. But this looks really cool with the train. I really like that. I might be able to get a birthday card out of this for my grandson who likes trains. And he's getting older. He's 13, so you can't really do the little kid cutesy stuff. So I like, okay, so this front sheet, and then they've done the cut-aparts on the back, so you're not wasting a sheet. You get to use the cut-aparts and not think, do I want to use this side or that side? Though I'd say this is more um, scrapbooking, the big, like that. But look how, I love this vintage look. And here's another map. Some compasses on the back. Oh, this is pretty. It's like a travel log. It says airmail. The old-timey ships. And then that print on the back. This is, it looks sepia print almost. Sepia, sepia, I don't know. And this is like an old letter. Oh, that's pretty. Some postcards and airmail. It's on the back of this one. Oh, that's lovely with leaves. It's really pretty. Here's an old newspaper. And a stripe on the back. And it's not, it's like a, almost like a gray cream color with some distress to it with the black. And then there's a sticker sheet too. Really cool collection. Okay, I'm looking forward to using that one somehow. This one's called Let's Travel and it's a Cartabella. I love the colors on this one. This is more like a tropical vacation, I think. Maybe I can use it for some cruise photos. Okay, let's see what's, that's just the sheet. And this has got that texture like you expect from Cartabella. Really cute, the passport. So nice, the airplanes. And then these have all, it says Day Traveler, Our Biggest Adventure, Bon Voyage. Cute. It's all to different locations. And the flamingos, we've got some cut-aparts here. And a really pretty wild uh, <laughs> floral print. Here's all these tags, travel tags. Oh, the little destination, like when you go to the airport. Sunglasses, it's a pretty pattern. Postage stamps, little go-karts or scooters, luggage, pineapples. Here's some double-decker buses and cars. And then here's some more cut-aparts that are bigger this time, and it's got the months there. That is cute, I love these strips too. They're so useful, and look at that, how pretty. Oh, it's not even done curls in the pool and the guys in the pool and the waves and this must be the sticker sheet yes look at that that is really pretty so this is more scrapbooking but I really love some of those prints would be good for cards too let's be mermaids there's a lot in this I'm surprised by how much I received okay I'm gonna make it all sorts of noise here let's start with the sticker on the back this time <laughs> Here's the sticker sheet, really cute. I love this strip again, it's pretty. And we've got some waves and border strips, they call this sheet, that is cute. Polka dots, cut aparts, some little crabs, cute crabs, some more cut aparts. Oh, you're getting a lot of cut aparts with this. Seahorse, oh, that's pretty. And I have some sequins that looks just all of these different shapes that would be really pretty for a shaker card it's kind of like a wavy yellow and some fish got some turtles oh those guys are cute some whales some pink polka dots and a stripe a rainbow stripe diagonal stripe some more waves 
and some more mermaids and let's see this one it's a stripe and look at that that is pretty purple they look like rainbow shapes but, oh it looks like underwater um bubbles but all different colors like green print some stars and starfish looks like shell print and then some more mermaids really cute this is called let's be mermaids and a lot of times when these collections come in the boxes it's because they're no longer they're phasing them out so i don't know if you'll be able to find any of these collections but of course you can always search for them on their website and see if they have any of them left here is a sticker sheet it's really pretty again the strips i love those oh this is cute this is great for cards it's on the back polka dots got some crosses and some bunnies all oh, cute got a polka dot and some carrots I'm having trouble getting a grip here oh look at the wavy the rainbow colors and it almost looks like it's coming up off the page it probably doesn't to you but really cute and some eggs easter eggs oh pretty floral with oh easter baskets hippity hoppity easter's on its way that's cute cut apart sheet and on the back and they, again they use that front page as the cut apart on this one that's cute i like that okay this next one's called celebrate spring i'm almost done <laughs> this is taking longer than i thought i really thought i was just gonna flip through really quickly but there's a lot more than i was expecting Celebrate Spring by Lori Whitlock. I do love her designs. There's the cut apart sheets. And I might have this one or something that looks so close to it. More cut aparts. Oh, I do love the birds, the little bird houses. Cute. Frogs, oh, this frog's cute. And these little strips, I love the, the designs that have them at the top because you can use those for sure. Clouds on the back. Here's a floral with some stripes. These colors are just so pretty. I know they're probably not coming across on the camera as vibrant as they are here. I love those little rain boots and a polka dot on the back. There's sort of, sort of some geometric flower shapes, I think those are. And a pink check. And there's the sticker sheet. Spring is in the air. Oh, these are so cute. Look at the little picket beds. That's adorable. Okay, and then there's one more thing, and I think this is just the same page, like repeated. All right, let's take it out and look at it. Yeah, one side is bunnies, and then one side is this. It says Easter, bunny, hippity hop, and let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five. There are five of these in here. So anyway, I think this is a great bargain. If you're looking to get, I love that it was a lot of Easter and spring right right as I'm doing that kind of thing. So if you're looking for a good deal, I think these really are. The thing is you will not know what you're going to get. It's kind of like going to Tuesday morning and walking in and thinking, I don't know what I'm going to find, but I'm sure I'm going to find something cool. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Like I said, I'll link to Echo Park below so you can get on their newsletter and find out when these are coming out. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Happy crafting.